Good morning. Today we're here at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So as soon as we come into Ollie's here, first thing we come up on is some of the shampoo and soaps. Some of the things you guys have asked about, I gotta say, at first glance here, they got some pretty good prices on uh, Pantene Pro V, $2.49, regularly $4.00. Yeah, it's good to see uh, a little cheaper. I remember somebody was looking for Irish Spring. Looks like they have a variety of them here. $3.29, only down from $3.99, so not that big of a savings, but every little bit helps these days. Now, Ollie's is kind of like, I don't know, Big Lots meets... I, I kind of feel like we're walking through like a giant garage sale of products i don't know i know it sounds kind of weird but if you're not familiar with all or ollie's i keep saying aldi if you're not familiar with ollie's you just got to kind of walk around they pretty much got stuff scattered everywhere um like this premier roasters coffee here i've never even heard of this uh eight dollars or yeah eight dollars and 49 cents they'll give you like their price 9.49 i'm not really sure what that means uh i don't know what we can really even compare it to uh, this is 48 ounces of Premier Roasters coffee for $8.49. Uh, if it's any good, yeah, that's worth it. Kind of just wanted to come in and check out some of their bargains and stuff because, you know, rising prices all across the city of Cincinnati here. Um, you know, we're looking for things that are a little cheaper. Um, you may not find, like, name brand products here, but this, uh, oh, this Bristol Luncheon uh, loaf here, we saw this at Menards the other day. This is only $1.99. They compare this to Spam. Um, Spam's almost $4 a can now, so if I taste anything like it. Um, but yeah, you know, it's an interesting place. Something random here, the Fire Roasted Sweet Corn. Me and Jessica have actually tried this before. It's really good. It is $4.49 a bag. It's not cheap, but it does taste like corn off the cob. Sweet Corn here, the Hers brand. It is really good. It has gone on price. I think we paid like $3 for this. It's been a long time since we've been here, but $4.49, that may be a little much, but it is good. does seem like the prices have gone up here at Ollie's. They do have the Turkey Creek barbecue pork rinds here. I remember paying $2.99 for these, and now they're $4.49. So, yeah, definitely stuff is going up here at Ollie's too, which is a shame because this is usually where you can find pretty cheap stuff, but I don't know. Let's see how much is this. $1.59 for a bag of it there. Doesn't look like too much more than this. It's the same thing. They do have the Lance Crackers 5.5 ounces here for 99 cents. Now we saw the 4 ounce uh, crackers at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So you actually get a little more here of the Lance Crackers, which is actually pretty awesome. They do have a variety of different nuts and stuff here. Got the Brazil nuts here. Man, that's a pretty big bag here. $6.99 for that. Um, what is this? Split cashews. This is a heavy bag. Two pounds for $9.99. That seems like a pretty good deal. They do have their Ripafrata coffee pods here. Uh, this is the Donut Shop blend. I tried this a while back. It's okay. $3.99 for that. I don't know. I think the last time I got it, it was $2.99. So yeah, prices are definitely going up here at all or Ollie's. But yeah, it's, I don't know, Kroger brand's about the same price, and I would, I would take their donut shop blend over this. They do have their Aspen Ridge coffee uh, in the pods, 40 cups for $9.99. It's actually a pretty decent price. I did try that a while back. Again, it's okay, not the greatest. Um, somebody had commented on the decaf of this one time. Uh, you do get the 40 cups here uh, for the same price, $4.99. They do have the dark roast as well. Lots of this different kind of coffee here. Plus they have the uh, the Twinkie coffee that people were commenting on. <laughs> They've got the coffee house, which I've heard is pretty good. Never tried this one though. I don't see any prices on it. Okay, so yeah, it is multiple different varieties. $19.99 for 80 cups, 80 of the Keurig cups. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is like. Uh, if you've had this, let me know down in the comments. That is a pretty decent price. I do have to say, they don't really have much. They seem to be out of a lot of stuff. Pretty much like everywhere else. 
$2.59 for the Honey Bunches of Oats. It's like the only cereal that they have. They got the Dunkin' Mocha Latte. We got some comments on that a while back. $1.99 for that. So I found some more of the Premier Roasters here. Um, they do have some other different kinds of this. $6.99 for this one. This ain't 48 ounces though. This is 27.8 ounces for the French Roast. They've got a decaf. And what is this? Scheib Roast Frisch. I don't know. They have a lot of different coffees here. I kind of expected them to have a lot more than what they got here. Don't even see the... They got these Snyder's Pretzels. $2.19. Uh, that's probably a pretty good deal. I think these are right around $2.99. Yeah, $2.99 is their price quote. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Whose price? They do have the peanut butter pretzels here. Uh, these are really good. We've actually tried the Anderson. This is the most expensive I've ever seen them, though. These were $2.99 the last time I bought them. It has been a while. $5.49 now. I believe they're $5 at uh, Kroger, so cheaper at Kroger. You got some of this beef stew here. I don't know if you would compare that to Denty more. Two twenty nine. It better be pretty good. Um, twenty four ounces. Yeah, that's the same size as the Denty more. This expires for best buy date twenty twenty four September. Um, we have these little cups of cheddar potato soup. Ninety nine cents. Yeah, where can you buy anything for a dollar? Oh, that's Bear Creek. Okay. Somebody was saying the cheddar potato is really good, too. You may have to look at some other things around Ollie's here other than food, because i got to say, they are fairly wiped out. They do have these Royal Dengst. $1.99 for those. Um, yeah, I don't know. All I'm finding is, like, snacky stuff. I don't see any canned goods like they usually have for cheap. Yeah, I don't know. Did find some Brillo dish soap. Never heard of this before. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried it. Looks very thick. Wow, that's some really thick dish soap there. Brillo Basics, 99 cents. One thing is the music is so loud in this place I can barely hear myself think. Um, they do have their sweet teas, the different Arizona teas. They are $5.49. Oh, wait a minute. $6.49. Oh, wow, that really ain't worth it. We used to get these for $4.99. Jeez. These have gotten really expensive. Wanted to come back and look at some other things other than food. Maybe stuff we can cook food on. Got some Farberware dishes here, which is uh, medium grade products, I would say. $20 for these skillets. Just seems a little, I don't know, like a bit much. Um, got these three piece here. What is this? $24.99 for that. I don't know. A lot of this stuff I feel like we can find cheaper places. Oh, let's see this blue diamond. Well, this is $9.99. I've heard these are really good. As seen on TV. I don't know. Never used one like this before. That don't seem like a bad price. So it's funny. It does look like some of these are better priced than others. They have this ceramic non-stick copper fry pan. $14.99. Um, some other ones here. Uh, don't know too much about these products, but they do have the green life here. $29.99 for this. Looks like a decent price. One awesome thing I just came across here is they have a anti-overflow waffle maker for $24.99. Chef Man, that's a decent uh, name brand, ain't it? $24.99. Theirs, whatever theirs is, $39.99. They have a Hamilton Beach Egg Bites maker. Now, we make our egg bites in the uh, Instapot. So, that we got a bunch of different recipes for that. Um, but, yeah, $17.99 just to make... Egg bites, if you have an Instapot, they do have recipes for them online. So I did want to point out that this exact Farberware set for $69.99 here was $50 a couple months ago at Walmart. And I think you got more stuff, but it did come with all these here. Uh, so yeah, we definitely have to compare stuff like this to Walmart. I would assume it would be somewhat close to those prices when it comes to these things. And if you really want to save money on fish... Get yourself a fishing pole. Go out and go fishing. It's the cheapest way. You don't even really have to buy worms. You can go out in your backyard, dig up some worms, get something for the kids to do, or it's fun. It's fun. You save three or four dollars and dig up about 10, 15, 20 worms, depending on how long you plan on fishing and how good you are at hooking a worm. I will say these are some nice plate sets here for $30. 
Got four cups here, some side plates, dinner plates. They got all different kinds too. I like these right here. These are nice. It is kind of nice all the stuff that they have for your car here. I will say out of all the places we go, Big Lots included, it does seem like they have a good amount of car cleaning stuff uh, for pretty cheap. This is three microfiber autocloths for $4.99. That seems like a pretty good price. Um, yeah, and just all kinds of little gadgets and stuff. Yeah, it's a cool store. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't seem like they're getting as much of the food as they usually do. Because that's really what I came in here for, was to do some uh, super saving price comparisons at Ollie's on the food here. Um, but like everywhere, they're probably struggling to get in a lot of this stuff right now. A couple people over the last couple weeks were asking me to check out light bulbs. I don't know what kind of light bulbs you guys were wanting to see, but Ollie's does have pretty decent prices on light bulbs here. Uh, four 60 watt bulbs here for $1.29. That's a pretty good deal. Those are the cheap ones though. Um, but yeah, you know, and they got a ton of them. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, how many of you shop at Ollie's and do you always find a lot of good bargains? We usually shop here around Christmas time for people because they have a lot of the books and puzzles and toys. There's a lot of toys, which we probably won't go over today. We usually do that kind of stuff toward the holiday season, but you know, just kind of scoping out some of the stuff here. I mean, they do have a ton of stuff. Uh, a lot of, like, camping gear and stuff. Here's a headlamp. I'm going to do some caving. Some of this kind of stuff, like an office chair, stuff like this. I don't know about this bonsai home here. They don't have a price tag up on it. That looks pretty nice, actually. That looks pretty comfortable. This one, though, this one's really cheap. You could literally get this for $100 on Amazon, so... I don't know if you're really saving any here. And this one feels kind of cheap. Very plasticky, not really solid. Not like this one. This is solid. I do have to say that they always have some really great books here. The Big Book of Monsters. <laughs> the Beatles. Lots of rock. Ah, no pun intended. Lots of uh, rock and roll books on different bands over the years graphic novels comic books children's books all this stuff is really cheap i actually bought this book a few years ago i think it was i think it was a dollar 99 here prices just continue to go up i recommend this book it is very awesome a lot of different war veterans and uh, it's got the guy chris kyle um in it and some other veterans very interesting book really awesome stories of heroism and things sacrifices that they've had to make really awesome book and if you like cool looking gnomes they got them along with these nice little uh pots here planter pots Let's see how much is this oh that's that's pretty solid eight dollars for that yeah these are really cool this is the real deal too guys Oh, look, this one was made in Vietnam. One thing interesting, look at this one. This was hand-painted in Spain. That is really cool. And if you're looking for an air conditioner or a fan, boy, they got you covered. They got all different kinds. We saw at Walmart the other day. They were pretty much out of fans. So good to know they got them here. Do have a variety of garden tools also. Um, some people were asking about garden tools, rakes. Um, yeah. Those look like they got a few. They also got some stuff over here. Little clippers here. Some floral shears. Oh, look at this. Little, little hole digger there. That's cool. Dig a bunch of holes for your plants, flowers, or whatever you use it for there. Got some all-purpose plant food. It's interesting. I don't know how much this usually costs. $3.99. They say their price $7.99. I don't know about that. I don't know. These are the kind of things that I really don't know prices to compare. They got, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. They got a giant one here. This is 8.8 .8 pounds for $13.99. This is uh, 10 ounces for $3.99. So why wouldn't you just get this one? Got a bunch of big pruners here. $25 for this butterfly one there. Uh, I don't know. I almost feel like that would be cheaper at Home Depot, honestly. I don't know. Here's a double hedge trimmer and pruner here. $25. I 
Okay. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. Okay. So yeah, you're getting both of these. So yeah, that's definitely a good price then. I don't know about the material. Never heard of the Butterfly Love brand. I know Friskers is one that uh, Home Depot sells. And that's pretty good. Plus it's guaranteed. I don't know if this stuff is. Okay, so this is one of those kind of weird aisles. You got some pet cleaning stuff. Lots of pet cleaner, actually. Um, got some pet serving bowls down there. Uh, hairball control. Okay, I guess that's a food. Um, doesn't look like they have a lot of pet food. And here we got random, like, Christmas cookies. I don't... Are these treats? Animal treats? I don't really know what they are. To and from... Good for fun, long-lasting beef hide. Oh, okay, snacks for small dogs. <laughs> yeah, you can buy that and give it to one of your friends that has a dog for Christmas. Pup tarts? Oh wow, this is hilarious. Wow. Okay, so meant to look like real food, real candy. Mutt likes, like Mike and Ike's. Buddy caps, oh that's funny. I never seen any of this stuff. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, not a lot of dog or cat food here, but, eh, they got some stuff. But, yeah, I don't see any, like, canned foods or anything. Actually, yeah, there is something right here. Yeah, the blue. Oh, let's see. Oh, $1.19. $1.19 for the blue. Um, now, this says for dogs. So, I don't know. Maybe a little dog? I don't know. But I know blue is regularly expensive found some detergent here and I thought this was a great price at first $15.99 for this Tide here it is only 89 loads though now that is a decent price the one that is 107 loads that we get at Kroger usually that can be anywhere from $22 to $23 they've had it on sale for right around somewhere in between $20 and $21 uh, with the deal they had going on but that deal may be over um, 89 loads for $15.99 yeah that's, that's not that bad they do have some of the smaller ones here too this is 64 loads for 10.99 so about the same price as we saw at aldi they have some of the cheaper less concentrate tied here 349 that's about the same price as it is everywhere they say there's quote 399 which probably is about right on that one I don't know if this is a good deal. This is a little, I mean, unless you're going on vacation or something, you just want to take a little bit of dish soap with you. I mean, yeah, I guess that would be nice. 89 cents for this, so it's fairly cheap. They do have these little things at dawn. I don't see any price on them. This says 99 cents, though. So, yeah, if you're going on vacation or something, that's probably a good deal. Uh, $5.49 for this thing of dawn soap here. This is 56 ounces, so... Compared to what it's gone up to a lot in the stores, that's not too bad of a price. And they do have the Gain uh, 65 ounces, wait a minute, 45 loads for $6.99. I think we found that cheaper, but you know, at least they have it. Lots of random things here at Ollie's. It does look like they have some different oils here. They got this extra virgin olive oil here. This is $9.99 for this big thing of it here. They also have this avocado oil, which we always seem to get comments on. Can't see the brand name because it's covered. Oh, Pal Palmero? I don't know, but it's $5.99 for that. Uh, they do have some other things here. Uh, this was a dollar. Oh, okay, so that's 24 ounces. $1.29 for that mustard gas. Yeah, about the, probably the same as what it is everywhere, really. I remember the last time we came to Ali a while back. Uh, we got some good comments on the Danish Choice Cherry Preserves and the Orange Marmalade. They also have the Black Currant Preserves. Some other little things. Sounds like some people are partying across the way there. Do have some muffins. I don't know about these, though. Never tried them. Um, yeah. So if there's one thing that I don't like about Ollie's, and I mean, it's great that you can find some good prices on things, but... Like these toys here, they literally just kind of throw it on here. As you can see, nothing is in order at all. But, I mean, it's kind of part of it, I guess. You, that's what I was saying. It's kind of like a large garage sale because it's like everything is just kind of thrown up on the shelves. So, it is a bit of a headache if you don't have some time to shop around and look. If you're coming to Ollie's without a plan, I feel like that is the best way to go. I will say, if you're going to buy a fishing pole, I wouldn't buy one this cheap. 
um, this is really cheap. You're not going to be able to catch any catfish on this thing. Uh, same goes for these. You want to go to Walmart. Walmart seems to have really good fishing poles for, you know, decent prices. I wouldn't say the best. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods also sell some really good fishing poles. Um, you know, something a little more heavy duty than this. Guys, that was our trip to Ollie's. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, a lot of the food and snacks, those have gone way up in price here. But I feel like we can still find some good deals at Ollie's. Um, especially on like stuff for Christmas. Uh, things like that around the holidays they seem to have some really good deals on like Christmas candies toys uh, They you know, but as we saw it is kind of always scattered out They usually have like a ton of toys around the Christmas time up in front So it's a little easier to kind of they still kind of just throw it on the shelves But that's kind of the deal like you're getting a little bit of a better price um, You know and I, I don't know I wish they would organize it a little better and again, that's kind of the garage sale aspect of this place that I was talking about. Like, you do just got to kind of, you know, look around, um, give yourself a little bit of time here. If you're coming to Ollie's, I recommend, like I said, coming here without a plan. Maybe a couple things in the back of your head. Like, if you're looking for an appliance or, or something, you know, know that you're looking for that. But I would come here with a couple other reasons, uh, you know, some other things that you may want to get here. Still an awesome store. I love Ollie's. Uh, but yeah, mostly around the holidays. But a couple of you over the last month have asked me to check out Ollie. So I wanted to come here and uh, it is really cool. As far as like fishing poles and stuff like that, I know I, I touched on that a little bit in here. Um, Walmart sells pretty decent fishing poles. You know, I have a saying like if it looks cheap, it is cheap. Um, you know, we've had some comments on people fishing and stuff like that on the channel, you know, uh, making your own food, right? So fishing is uh, something that you can do for free. You know, if you're going to fish in, you know, a river or something, you're going to need a fishing license. And you do want to make sure you get your fishing license. But also Dick's Sporting Goods, you know, they sell very good fishing poles. And you you want to be able to, to, to have something that you're going to be able to catch, you know, some good sized fish. These fishing poles in here, you're only going to be able to catch bluegill, like little tiny ones. Like it's, it seems very cheap. The line's cheap, all that stuff. So if you want to do some good fishing, you don't have to spend a fortune on one, but you definitely want to get something you, you know can handle a catfish. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.